Hey guys, it's Ashley and I am back to do my part two of my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses. This is actually my favorite lip glosses and I put it in this Victoria, all my lip glosses in this Victoria's Secret makeup bag. I usually keep this in my purse and it doesn't have all lip glosses in it in my purse. I usually put um, like a couple lipsticks, a lip gloss, a mirror, stuff to use for when I'm out and about and on the go and I can touch up. So I just threw them in here so I could easily grab them to show you. Um, I actually thought that I would have more lipsticks than I do lip glosses in my favorites, but that is not the case. I have way more lip gloss favorites than I did lipstick favorites. So I'm just going to jump right into the video. Um, I'm actually going to do it the same as I did in my first video and go by brand instead of by color. So the colors might be all over the place, but they're kind of in the same color family and tone, but I'm going to do it by brand. So let's start with NYX or NYX. They have really nice lip glosses and these are the butter lip glosses and they smell amazing and for the price and the quality you cannot go wrong these are fabulous lip glosses okay so for the first one I will do is Eclair and this is what this one looks like and this is like a very pale nudie nudie pink it looks really pretty over max cream cup lipstick and that one that was in my favorites okay so here is eclair I'm not sure if you can see it or not okay the next one is vanilla cream pie and this is more of a pink like a little bit like almost like a baby doll pink almost That one's right there. Okay, and the third one, Strawberry Parfait. And this one is more like a bright, bright fuchsia-y pink. And I'm not sure if I said before, but these smell so nice. And they are just like literally like butter on your lips. They are so smooth and not sticky at all. So right there is the Strawberry Parfait. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm trying to find like, the perfect lighting and it's just, it's not working for me. Okay. The next brand I will do is It Cosmetics. So I have three here that are my absolute favorites. These are all like my current favorites. Like I said in my last video, I have um, some more lipsticks and lip glosses that I had hauled in my last few videos, but yet I haven't used them, so I can't put them in this video. But so far, these are my favorite. And these are what they look like. And I'll start with this one. This one is called the, let's see, Vitality Butter Gloss in News Anchor Blue. And it's like a blue with shimmer in it, but what I do, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, I put it over, like a lipstick that I'm wearing and it's supposed to make your teeth look brighter. I'm not sure if it actually makes them look brighter and whiter, but I just love, I just love the formulation of these glosses. Right there's the New Zinker Blue. So there is a little bit of a tinge of blue in it. And I'm actually wearing that over top of my Revlon Sultry Samba lipstick. I, that was in my last video. That's one of my favorite lipsticks. Okay, the next one is the Vitality Gloss Stain in Sweet Rose. And this is like a beautiful, like mauve-y, mauve rose color. And this one actually will stain your lips. So it's, it's just, oh, and these glosses smell amazing as well. Okay, so right there is the rose, Sweet Rose. It's so pretty. Okay, now my lighting's getting a little bit better. I'm hoping I'm not looking orange. My last video made me look a little Oompa Loompa-ish, and I swear I'm not that, that tan in real life. Okay, 
Next one is a, another Vitality Butter Gloss. It does not have the stain in it. And it's called Ruby Slippers. And this one is just gorgeous. This one actually makes your teeth look white. Just because of the color, I think. And these smell amazing. Oh my goodness, they smell amazing. It's like a raspberry red color. It's so beautiful. Okay, next brand, let's do Trish McAvoy. Okay, I have two of her, I guess they're, this one, this one's called the Flawless Lip Color, and this one is the Instant Pick Me Up Lips Shimmer. So they're kind of, they're not a lipstick, they're more of like a gloss, and this one is in Perfect Coral. Put that one down. And this is such a beautiful shade for summer. And it has like a minty, a minty smell and taste to it. This color is so pretty for the summer. Okay, right there is the coral. It's looking more orange, but it's not, it's not like that orange. It's almost like a, on camera it looks like a brownish orange, but it's not. It's more of like an orangey coral. Okay, and then this one is the Instant Pick Me Up Lips, and it's in the shimmer. And this one is meant to, like, stain your lips, and it produces, like, it's almost like the It Cosmetics, um, Je Ne Sais Quoi, I believe it's called. Um, it's almost like that, where it adjust to your skin tone and it makes the perfect pink color it yeah it's absolutely like the it cosmetics one and it's right there so it does have it does look pink and then it just it like deepens up and it makes the perfect perfect pink color for your skin tone okay next one is from hourglass and this is their extreme sheen in fortune and it is like a pale pink with gold shimmer and this is so pretty okay and that one is right there It's so pretty over like a pink lipstick. Even over, um, like I said, cream cup, that would look really pretty. All right. Next one. I just ordered this um, off of the Whitening Lightning website. And it came with three other glosses. It's actually called the Jacqueline Hill Bouquet. And out of all of the colors, I fell in love with this color. It's the one in Rose Hill, and it looks like this. And it's it has a light, <laughs> so you can apply it when you're out at night. And this color is the perfect rosy color. It's it's absolutely beautiful, and it it smells um it smells fruity. Right there's the Rose Hill. It's so pretty. I, I really love that color. Out of all the four that I got, I this is probably my favorite. Absolutely my favorite. And then the next one would probably be the Nude. Okay. Let's move on to this one. Okay, this is Physician's Formula. And it's in the Matchmaker PH Powered Lip Gloss in Light Pink. And this is another one that adjusts to your skin tone. Like it kind of goes on like a clearish pink and then adjusts to your skin tone. I don't know why I'm so drawn to these, but I love them. Like I love this one. I love the, um, the Je Ne Sais Quoi lipstick from It Cosmetics. 
I just love ones that, oh, and the Trish McAvoy one. I just love how you can put it on and it just adjusts and it, it never looks like too much or not enough. It's just perfect. So that one is in light pink by Physicians Formula and it's right here. You can barely see it because it comes out like a light pinky clear color. Right there it is. Alrighty. Okay, this one is from Chanel and I believe it's their... Let's see, it says Rouge Allure, um, and then I kind of can't pronounce the, the rest of it, but it's, I think it's their long wear uh, lip gloss. And this one is in Reflection, number 71. And this is so pretty. It's like a beautiful pink. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's that one. It's coming off more red on camera, but it's more of like a pink. Like a raspberry pink. Let's see. Okay. Next one is from Sarah Hap, and it's their, um, the pink slip is what it's called. So it's their lip gloss, and it's the pink slip one. And this is what it looks like. And I don't, I really don't like this smell of this lip gloss. It smells kind of like Play-Doh-y. It's, it's really weird, but it's, it's such a pretty color. It, it's just a very pretty pink color that would go perfect over cream cup or any of like your nudie pink lipsticks. Right there it is. So it's kind of like the, um, like the NYX, the NYX one that I first swatched and the Hourglass, it's, it's, a, it's like in the same color family. All right, let's see, we've got five more here. Okay, let's do Milani glosses. Okay, I have four of Milani's glosses. Here are the shades. And I love these lip glosses. They smell amazing and they, to me, they, they're they pigmented and they last a decent amount of time on your lips. The only thing I don't like about them is that they tend to get, they're like they're sticky. And I, I really don't like sticky glosses, but I put up with it because the colors are just so pretty and they smell so good. Okay, so I'll do this one here. It's called Luminous. Yeah, Luminous. And it's like a shimmery bronzy color it's it's so hard to describe it has like a little bit of mauve in it i think it's so pretty that one is right there and i think that would be pretty over like nude gloss nude lipsticks it's right right there i'm not sure if you can see it okay the next one is in Sweet Grapefruit. Oh, I am such a sucker for like good smelling lipsticks and lip glosses. Like they just, I love when they smell good. Okay, that one's right there. It's like a cantaloupe color, I would say, with like a little bit of coral in it, maybe. Okay, next one is in Pink Lady. And this one is like another, like, baby doll pink, like, just with, it's more, it has a little bit more pink in it than like the nude, the nude. Okay, that one's right there. That is such a gorgeous color. I love that color. And this one is usually all over Instagram. Like everybody loves the pink lady. And last one from Milani is Rose Blush. And this one, this one's probably my favorite out of the four that I have. And it's like a rosy pink color. 
It kind of reminds me of the Rose Hill lip gloss from Whitening Lightning. And that one is Rose Blush. And then where is, and then this one right here was the Rose Hill. So they kind of, they kind of look similar. This one has more pink in it, I think. Okay, and last but certainly not least is my YSL lip gloss. This is the only one that I have. And it is so beautiful on. It is in number 206. I cannot remember the name. I know I hauled this. But oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I love it. And it's like a raspberry reddish pink color. So as you can see, I like a lot of like the nude pink colors and then like the raspberry red lipsticks. Those are the, t the ones that I tend to lean more, or lips, lip glosses and lipsticks. Those are the ones that I tend to lean more toward. Um, I, don't, I don't do super nude nude. Like I, it has to be a pinky nude. Not peachy pink, not peachy nude. It has to be pink nude. So those are all my lip glosses. And as you can tell, I, I have more lip gloss favorites than I do lipstick favorites. And I'm shocked to come to that realization because I thought for sure I would have more lipstick favorites. All right, guys. So that's all my lip glosses that I absolutely love. I, I just, oh, I love those colors. They're absolutely, they're just beautiful. And they all smell so good, except the one from Sarah Hat. That that one doesn't smell the best, but it's a really pretty color. So I just, I put up with it. So, okay, that's all. And I will be filming my May favorites, like I said, hopefully either this, like later in this weekend or early next week and hopefully have it up by the end of the month. I know I can't believe May is almost over. That's crazy. So I guess that is all. I can't think of anything else to tell you. Hmm. I guess that's it. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave any comments down below. Any suggestions for future videos or any questions you have about the lip glosses or lipsticks. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.